Hello and welcome to part one of our Printix tutorial series. Today we'll be talking about signing up for Printix. First of all, we'll have a look at the authentication methods supported by Printix, installing Printix client as part of the installation wizard, discovering network printers, and an overview on the dashboard. So what we see here is a Windows 1064. It's pretty much clean. There's uh, just one physical device that's attached through TCP IP. And that's all there is. To register for Printix, all we need to do is navigate to printix.net and click on the Start a Trial button. We see uh, support for different authentication methods. We support Microsoft Work Accounts, so that's Office 365, Microsoft Azure. We have G Suite support for Google authentication, and we have a native email sign-up process. For this demo, I'm going to choose the Microsoft Work Account method simply by clicking on the button. Um, we are forwarded to Microsoft themselves, so we don't actually do the authentication ourselves. We uh, actually work with the token that we receive back after authenticating. I'm now asked if I want to revisit an existing Printix home, which I don't want to do. I want to create a new Printix home for this demo, which has happened right there. So Printix31.Printix.net is our home. We can now view a video, a general video, on what Printix is all about. We're going to skip this for now. I'm offered the download for the Printix client, which is a mandatory part of the installation wizard if I want to get going right away and discover my network printers here on site. So I'm just going to download that and run it. Now it's important to note that uh, all these actions that we are seeing here are one-off administrative tasks. Uh, this is not the end user experience. It's very important to note um, as we are just setting up the system, uh, discovering the printers, making sure the drivers are the right ones, etc. The end user experience is something we're going to be talking about in a later part. Okay, that's it. Printix client is installed. I'm simply going to sign in with our Microsoft Work account once more. In the end user perspective, this won't be necessary um, as we, we, uh, we support um, single sign-on. So anyone uh, logging into their Windows session uh, will be logged into Printix client automatically. So what we're doing now is we're discovering the printers on the network. This is done through SNMP port 161 quite common for print solutions to uh, read the MIPS out of the devices through SNMP. There we go. We'll open the dashboard and we're ready to go. A uh, quick overview on the dashboard. We can, of course, have a look at the different print methods that we support. We support three different print methods, but we'll get into that in a different part of the series. Um, we see print activity. Print activity meaning any print jobs that have been released or printed to a device through Printix connected devices. And this is real time data. That's very important to note. We are actually seeing live information here on this dashboard. We see a breakdown on the ratio of black and white versus color. We see the same for simplex versus duplex. And we see the uh, percentage of follow me jobs. We can quickly jump into the printers. So we have the Printix Anywhere, which is a virtual printer used for secure follow me printing. And we have four physical devices, one of which was already installed on my device. And you can see we've recognized each device with their manufacturer and model name. So we know what device it is. This is important later on for um, suggesting the right drivers, driver matching. We have a database of around 40,000 devices in the background that we actually query. Um, to see which drivers are appropriate for the according devices on your network. The other thing that we can see is we have one user, which is myself, because I registered Printix client or Printix, sorry, Printix tenant. Um, I'm automatically system manager. This user overview will automatically be populated with any user that signs in through your Microsoft Azure AD. Uh, we literally just um, inherit those um, user informations 
and um, of course don't have any write permissions on your Azure AD. And it's the same for the computer. So this is my desktop, uh, the machine that we're actually looking at, desktop computer, Win 1064. So uh, you get an overview on what's going on with the print infrastructure. You see the printers, the users, the computers. And um, right away, you can see here now it's uh, retrieved all the information, the meter readings out of my devices. So it knows that the overall ratio on black and white versus color on my devices as it stands now is 88% black and white. So that covers sign up, installation, and a few of the basics about Printix. Remember, if you have any questions along the way, you can open up the settings here and go to support and submit any support uh, requests online or directly through support at printix.net. Thanks for listening. Hope this was helpful and you'll join us again for any other demo you might be interested in. Mm -hmm.